Hello, hello, hello. Hey. Sorry about that. Oh, don't worry. I've been doing mortgage stuff all morning. So I was like, okay, I'll just make another client call while I'm waiting. So no problem at all. Okay. I have a Friday call with a, a group of 12 people that are part of this Lucille Foundation. I don't know if you've heard of them. Um, you've mentioned them, I think, before, and they're in France or something? They're Well, I think they're in 34 countries. Um, okay. And there's there's a program going on right now that we've been working on for six months. That's a, a one-year training program. And they're taking some of the tools of the new Paradigm Toolkit, but they're taking the Gene Keys and other... There's, there's other designers in there. And so we've been working together for quite a while and now it's implementing and we have the design meeting, but then we have us going through the program from a team point of view. So we're actually going through our own program and there's a lot of shadow work <laughs> at the beginning. <laughs> and uh, it's pretty intense. It's intense. <laughs> and so this, the, today I was in the call and then I was supposed to do some more taping to do some videos for the program but we we we, were, we had to sort of debrief the call because i sort of it's like you only get five minutes if you're lucky right in a, in a team of 12 so you're 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 getting a lot of info and then you're and 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 the main focus is sort of healing your lineage and healing your shadow right now and so it's okay. and i find in that moment there's like you're getting all this info about other people's shadow which is pretty intense and then when you open up into that field, you, you, you know, there's, there's some major, the trust issues and the, the whole thing of how much do I say about who I am? Because, you know, there's, a, there's, I like to keep certain things apart, right? Like my political side is very strong. And, you know, if I bring it into my business side, then it gets, you know, I, I don't like to bring those together. Right. But I know that you know, at some point, you know, we're, we're heading towards this massive political battle, right? Like it's, it's just, you know, things are going to get a lot worse before they get better, you know? It's interesting because I think the whole COVID vaccine is like the pinnacle of some, you know, all the things that are coming out of that. And um, I tend to try not to be political because I just find people are not very open-minded. It's like, you always have to stand on the opposite side of somebody. And I, I don't believe, because I, I think even if you disagree with someone, you can often, if they're presenting or doing something, there's one thing you can always pull out of it. So personally for me, I just try not to get involved in it and ask questions. But when you're talking about the overwhelmed and that all that info, that's when my that's how I do my consulting sessions with somebody. So like when I do a four part strategy session, it's three hours, two to three hours of them just unloading everything. And I just take tons and tons of notes. And then intuitively I'm pulling out the things that I know they need to do to actually move stuff forward. That's my process. And then we spend the next two to three sessions actually implementing the steps and I give them homework. And then it's another two hours that we talk through it and problem solve. And then by the end of the fourth session, they actually have a strategy plan of how am I rolling this out? What am I doing? And then I coach them to keep them accountable. Wow, that's a good, that's a good plan. <laughs> it works. I, that's what I did with Lori and Sylvia when I started with them when I came. And the more chaos and the more clutter that they give me, the better. Because I ask questions that kind of probe certain things. And I just take notes and notes and notes and notes. And I use like my surface so I can take them digitally and then I convert them to text really easily. So then I can move them around on a on my computer screen and everything like that and group them. And then it's just my my intuition and my skill that I can pretty easily pick up on what's actually stalling people like a client I just started with on Wednesday she does manufacturing offshore for um, flights that she makes but they're in different like worship or different things like that that they kind of use these flakes so it's a business she's had for 10 years and she's gotten to a point and I love the phrase she used decision fatigue so she's been so busy but she's just exhausted from making decisions right and so I said you know I she goes I just want you to make decisions I said I can but what I want is you to have a buy-in for it because if you don't then you're not going to action anything 
going to be a waste. You're going to feel like it's a waste of your time and money for us to work together. So I can clarify. And so, you know, she's talking and I said, okay, so it's just, that's my process. And I love it because I like, I love puzzles. I, I, every Christmas I get a puzzle. And so my real process is people show up with a plastic bag full of puzzle pieces, no picture, nothing. They dump them out. And then the first session is turning all the pieces over and, and finding all the edge pieces and grouping stuff together. And then the next session is actually working on that one area because we have all of that and putting it all together. And then the next session is finalizing the rest. And then by the last session, we put pieces puzzled together and you can see it because they've thrown in 10 different pieces they don't need, but they like the ideas. So that's kind of how, if I were to put it in a visualization of what I do with people, like I create clarity from chaos. So the more, you know, so when you're talking and people are just throwing all this stuff, I love it because I write all these notes and then I can hear what they're saying and say, okay, so here's what I really see you need to do. Have you tried this and what's this? And so for me, that's my process. And I just, I love doing it because I, I love helping people get stuff done. So did we do this values map last week? Yes. Um, yes, we did. I'm, I have all this stuff here. That was the, yes, this is this one here. I, and uh, no, we did this map, which I. Yeah, that's the flow that's map. The same one? Yeah. yeah. So we did this one. Yeah, we did this one last could you, week. Could, okay, could you give me those val? Uh, could you give me the values? In the map? Yeah. yeah. And go from 2.1 through them all. Yes, now I just have to, because I wrote it down. It's a good question, but then the question is, why did I write them down? Between Yorkton and Regina, I feel like I'm half in two different places all the time. This is my home office. So I was home this week because my middle son, Keaton, it was his birthday on the 28th. And then it was my birthday yesterday. So I just chose to stay home with him. Oh, yeah, because I was telling Lori and Sylvia about how you got us to rate the numbers and they thought that was so cool. Okay. So let me... So giving you all the, the numbers here. Okay, so do you want me to start at the one or does it matter to you where I start? Start at the one. Okay, 2.1 is boldness. Okay. I've just got to find my two. What CRM do you use for your clients? Well, so... I'm kind of between, I, I use one with, um, one with TMG, which is my mortgage stuff. And so I prefer to use something called Trello. So it's not a CRM, but I love Trello. And I've started the hub on the, on Trello because there's four of us utilizing it and it works really well with Google and we can put reminders and due dates and create templates. And it's, there's a paid and a free version. So I know Sylvia has one for the hub that they use for kind of their email campaigns and everything. This is more a project based one to track where everything's at and know what's happening with each system. Okay. Okay. So um, to keep going, two is purpose. Okay. Three is abundance. Four is strength. Five is Wait, courage. Slow, slow down a bit. Uh, 2.5. Five is what? 2.5 is courage. Okay. Um, and then this one is the 2.B. So 2.6. Uh, Hang on, because I seem who haven't dropped it. But um, let me just go through them because I'll know what it is. Courage, strength, abundance, purpose, boldness. Um, so can we go to 2.9 right now? Sure. 2.9 is calm. And then the conversation, the 2.B is hope. And then I need six, right? Six, seven, and eight I'm missing. 
And I don't know where those went. Well, let me just see. Purpose. Oh, this is. Ah, here we go. Okay. So, um, uh, uh, number 2.6 is integrity. Okay. Uh, 2.7 is freedom, and then 2.8 was goodness. Do you have your five uh, communication spaces there too? That's the one Lori did with us, or that's the one you did before with us? Didn't I do one with you, or? Yeah, the first week you did do one with us. Yeah, I have those two. Okay, could you give me those two? Um, yep. Yeah. So, like the community space, the intention, the one on one. So, which one do you want me to go first? Um, give me personal space. Okay. Personal space is goodness. Okay. Uh, then just give me the next one because I'm not looking at that map. Then one on one space. One on one space is intention. Okay, uh, sacred space. Is freedom. And group space. And group space is, um, so I have community space and family space. Okay. Um, what's that community space? The community space is purpose. And that group space? is uh, life integrity under family. Okay. 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 So I'm glad you gave me your, pro pro could you, um, I want to hear that again, just in terms of the, the parts of the, puzzle piece analogy okay. so you've got the session one is you you have come in with a bag of pieces kind of you gather them and so no you so you you and i've decided to work together you signed a um a commitment to work for x number of times with me okay. you show up and if i were to visualize it you would show up with a clear bag with all these puzzle pieces in it no box no picture nothing so then what we do is we sit down and you dump all of this out. And everything's mixed up and there might be different shapes, different sizes, everything. So what we're doing is we're talking through you flipping over each of these pieces. So all these things you're working through and doing. So you, you're flipping everything over and telling me about everything. And then once we've kind of done that, what we're starting to do is pull out the edge pieces and group them together and the different colors that you would group it together. And that's just the first session. So then I, cause I do about equal amount of work face-to-face -face as I do behind the scenes. So when I quote a project for someone, it's typically about 10 hours quoted face-to-face -face and 10 hours behind the scenes, you know, um, because I transcribe all the notes and I send them a copy and then I always give them homework to work on so that they can achieve a goal. So then I take all those puzzle pieces that are sitting there and I look at them and, and I'm pulling, you know, and as they're going and there's a piece that doesn't fit at all, you pull that piece out, right? And, and we say, okay, this is for later, or this is for something else. So then our next session when we get together is we've actually, I've built the edge pieces and then they come in and start building, I would say like four other areas, right? Cause there's often three or four things people need to work on and they start building those. And then the next session is how they fit together. And by the final session, they see the whole puzzle. So give me a sort of like a title for each one of those sessions. Okay, I can do that. Uh, let me just pull up a contract that I sent someone. So just a sec here. And I, I need to refine the titles. That's where I'm a little bit stuck. So the name I've used is Step Up Business Consulting. And so it's strategy, time management, 
efficiency and productivity is kind of the areas that I find when I go through a process with somebody, it helps them. So we could have those productivity, yep. efficiency, strategy, time management, productivity, and efficiency. And this was all created outside of the hub before. It's something I've had for about five years. So okay. I'm incredibly open to rebranding and re re um, setting it up so it lines up better with our tools that we're using and it it fits into the hub better that's just what i've had so i'm totally open to redoing that i just i don't know what that would look like okay well i think that's that's essentially what we're doing right it's kind of like everyone's got their their superpowers yeah and it's structured in a certain manner, but we need to structure it so everyone can access everybody's and then bringing in sort of like new paradigm toolkit to sort of help and then all of that together. I mean, it's what you've told me is perfect. I mean, you, you've been a big missing piece of the puzzle in a sense of, of having that, you know, already boom, 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 action Jackson type person who's like at that builder spot, right? Yeah. And I, I think in the past, it's like, you know, again, it's like when the team shows up and you go, okay, well, that is the team. That's the designer. That's the organizer. That's promoter. And that's the builder. You, each of you is coming in with a very unique skill set, right? And you like doing things differently than everybody else. So it's kind of like a lot of times you might clash because you're not working as a team, right? You're just individuals and each kind of doing their own thing. But because you're not sort of learning just what you said of, of how to compromise and how to okay, I don't have to do this anymore. You know, okay, I can hand this, thank God. Like at some point to me, it's like, thank God you people exist because I'm going to do what I'm great at and you're going to do what you're great at. But we just have to figure out how to put that together, which you actually do in your business anyway, which is, you know, fantastic. And, you know, it's interesting because that's what I've been saying to Sylvia and Lori and as we're talking and I just kind of said like, guys, I see all these great things, but you keep referencing a different map or a different this. And, and there's all these different things we can utilize, but me being visual and, and um, Sylvia actually pulled out that four piece section that you put together and we worked through it and that was really helpful. And so the thing I keep going back and I'm like, okay, guys, this needs to be consistent because if we're working as a team and we have that unison, we need to use the same language. So people don't feel like a process I'm doing is so different. And so I was saying to them, because we've been talking a lot about what happens after people come to the hub factor, right? And, and, and Bonnie, my mom, has been really good and Sheila too, our golden nuggets have really said like, A, how are we describing this to people? But B, we need, there needs to be some cost, but there needs to be that follow-up, right? And so like what I kind of said was right now until Carrie is available when we, you know, to do it, it's the three of us. And, and when someone has brought up something that they want to work on, you know, where you hear it, and we're seeing a lot of people in that 50 to 65 age group, a lot of women coming and some men, but women saying, okay, I spent so much time raising my family and I was in a job because my kids got older. Now I have these passions and these things I want to bring to life, whether it's just personally getting centered and grounded, changing my conversation. And so what I said is, you know, we want you to come back and, and book an hour with the three of us. And that hour is $80. And what that does is for 15 minutes, you kind of share and, and, I'll, pro and I'll provide the guys with questions because there's pretty easy questions to pull stuff out. You know, what's your challenge, you know, and those kind of things. So the client comes, customer comes and they give us that. And then each of us have 10 minutes to share what we do in the process. So, you know, like Lori, to me, I really see her as the elder and the facilitator right now because she has access to so much and, and she can step into anything like money she can certainly do, but she would really be the person's guided host through it. So if it's getting familiar with sitting in the four areas of the inner and outer you and the inner and outer group doing an individual mapping, Lori would kind of take that. And Sylvia is very much you know, 
getting yourself grounded and mindful in what you're doing moving forward around the conversations you're having yourself. So pulling in that conversation killers and doing a session with where are you blocked? What words are you using? What's happening? And then for me, it's like, okay, I have this thing, but I need to actually move it forward and take it to the next step. And so then they would book sessions. So you would buy a bulk of sessions in a group of say six sessions, right? And so they'd work through all the processes, but they would start in one. And so my process might be supporting the other two. And I'm okay with that because I really find with what I'm doing, typically there needs to be a tangible something that people need to move forward. It's, it's not that I can't work in mindset and it's not that I won't pick up some of the tools and do it. But as we're looking, and I say the three of us, because Carrie, we've spent some time, but I don't know Carrie's process as well. And so Carrie and I are going to try and connect this weekend a little bit and spend some time together. But really, that's what should happen, because then people can actually start embracing what we're doing and start shifting and being able to become the best version of themselves. Agreed. Agreed. Um... So I can give you the, the steps that I kind of suggest with people when um, right now, kind of what it would look like and everything like that. So okay. I, I have it in three sessions, but sometimes it needs four. So the first one, I'm kind of calling it for a, an unearthing session. I don't love the titles of them, but that's just, it would be um, unearthing. So just discovering or a discovery session would be another word for it. The next session is really a clarity session. So we've unpacked everything. And now what we're doing is we're identifying that these are the things you want to focus on and how are we focusing on them. And then the last so the second to last depends how big the project is, is a strategy session. So now we've done all this work and now I've actually put together a strategy for you with steps to follow through. So then what we can do is we have, we meet once a week because this package I put together was $1,600 for the uh, 10 face-to-face -face sessions. And then, so 20 hours, and then um, it was $400 a month for the next six months. And so that works out to about an hour and a half a week if somebody wants that. And I like to do it in a group of five hours because maybe they want two two hour sessions. I hate to cut people off. So I always like to build in an extra hour so that if we're in a good conversation, with what I do, that's far more beneficial. So then you have that ongoing because the goal by the time they're done with me is that they actually have a plan and entrepreneurs and people who work independently, I find they are willing to change the deadlines for themselves because they don't have to deliver to anybody else. So they need that accountability and that deadline. So they need to keep checking in. And when they hit a roadblock, it's like, okay, what do we need to bring in or how do we need to refocus this? Um, so an earthing session, clarity session, strategy session. Do you have like a, a marketing pamphlet with this on it that you can send to me? I can send you a proposal that I've done. I did one for Lori and Sylvia and then one with this client. So I'll just, I'll send it to you and you can kind of see, because what I do after I, because really organically has how stuff has come up for me. So I haven't had to market this, so to speak, but I usually have at least one you know, 20 minute conversation and then another 30 minute conversation with someone when it's just me to really understand. And, and after that first kind of freebie call that I have with them or face to face, I get a really good sense of what's their block, right? It's just kind of an intuitive gift that I have. So then when I show up to the next session with them, I've already started researching their business or their area they've talked about. And then I have um, a list of questions that I go over with them. And I have about eight questions that I ask them. And I'm just, I'll open it up and I'll just, I can read them to you. So um, oh, um, I'm just getting a hit here. Uh, do you have a promo video? No. Okay. I want to just change 